Hi, welcome. This is Dick Rochefort aboard uh, M500 Piper Meridian M500 561 Kilo Whiskey. Correction, Mike Whiskey. Yeah, we're on our way to Chattanooga this morning from Florida, and um, we're getting ready to plan the VNAV, and I wanted to share that with you. It's one of the features that's uh, uh, my experience is most folks haven't experienced before when they're new to G1000. So uh, here it is, just a brief video. We're going to Chattanooga. We're at flight level 270. And it's nice and smooth today, so we have some time. Uh, we we want to know when to begin our descent. I recommend if you're uh, flying a turbine uh, that you consider rule of thumb 1,000 feet per minute. And now, uh, again, we don't know yet the wind at Chattanooga, nor do we know what runway we want or what approach we might want to have. But in any case, we would like to arrive approximately five miles from the airport, 1,500 feet turbine pattern altitude. If you're a piston, it would be 1,000 feet. Um, and uh, so we want to plot a descent that takes us down 1,000 feet a minute and uh, brings us to the airport five miles before the airport, 1,000 feet above uh, the field. So the first order of battle is to figure out um, what the field elevation is. Chattanooga, we covered in the flight plan and uh, tap the enter button. And uh, the uh, elevation is right there in the airport information. So we're going to add our 1,500 feet to that. Let's call it uh, square to two, carry the one. Let's call it 2,200 feet. And Jack, still the 2,227. You work at So uh, we turn on uh, the cursor. Uh, and in this down, aircraft, huh? we have an FMS. Okay, so we'll be using the knob, uh, we'll push on the knob to turn on the cursor. And then our ATK offset appears, the soft key here. So we push that. And that then populates a distance from the fix. We put our five miles in there with a the rotary knob, hit enter, and then put in the altitude we want to be uh, at five miles before, which is, uh, as we discussed, 2200. Now then, uh, that populates Endeavour 4011, uh, a 2.2 degree glide path. The reason it did that is because I already set it up. I cheated. I set it up first. Uh, but if you just did it, it would default to a 3 degree glide, and we would have to come into vertical profile, BNAV profile, and dial uh, with the little knob, dial in the rate we want. In this case, with a turbine, a thousand feet a minute. This then populates a top of descent, which in our case is uh, a little over 40 minutes away. It also populates on the uh, on the flight plan a TOD waypoint, and the uh, the autopilot system will announce vertical track when we get there. We can pre-arm the VNAV now, but uh, my idea is never tell the autopilot to do something you haven't been cleared to do. So I recommend we leave that light off until we're given a pilot's discretion. By the way, those of you who fly turbines and high-flying pistons probably know that uh, uh, implicit with your uh, uh, crossing restriction clearance, and this is sort of like that, uh, is pilot's discretion. So if you're told to, to cross uh, uh, 20 miles uh, s south of Chattanooga at maintained 11000, we would use the same technique to put that information in. The number here would be... 20 and uh, 1 1,000 in the altitude window. Then we would put the 1,000 in here, and since pilot's discretion is um, uh, implicit with a crossing restriction, we could then light the VNAV light, which Betty would then 
uh, announce it and take us down, and we would get the VNAV carried here. Well, that's just a quick uh, introduction to the vertical navigation on the G1000 in the Piper M500. It's a beautiful airplane. I hope you get a chance to fly it someday. This is Dick Rochefort. Fly safely. Train off. American 1027, contact Jackson Center 13387.